देयर आर ट्वेल्व स्टेप्स ऑफ हैजप विच इंक्लूड सेवन प्रिंसिपल्स एंड इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ टू वीडियोज वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ट्वेल्व स्टेप्स इन डिटेल आई विल एक्सप्लेन ईच स्टेप विद फॉर्म्स एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन सो दैट यू कैन ईजिली मेक सच डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड इम्प्लीमेंट दीज स्टेप्स इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन्वॉल्व डायरेक्टली और इन डायरेक्टली इन अ फूड चेन इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हैसअप एंड वॉट इज द यूनिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ हैसअप प्लीज वॉच माई वीडियो इन माई चैनल विद द वीडियो टाइटल वॉट इज हैसअप आई विल कंप्लीट हैसअप इन टू पार्ट्स सो इन दिस फर्स्ट पार्ट इंक्लूड्स फर्स्ट फाइव स्टेप्स ऑफ हैसअप एंड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन द रिमेनिंग सेवन स्टेप्स विच आर ऑल्सो नोन एज सेवन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ हैसअप सो द रिक्वेस्ट इज टू watch both the two parts completely and it is better if you just not only watch this video but also note things so that you get the 100% results from this video so the first step of hesap is assemble a hesap team the first task is to develop a food safety team because all other 11 steps of hesap will be developed implemented and managed by this team so there is a huge responsibility on the shoulders of hesap team so in developing a food safety team organization or management should consider that members of food safety team are multidisciplinary multidisciplinary means members should be selected from different departments of the organization and the reason for this is to get the inputs and feedbacks from all the departments in order to conduct an appropriate hazard and risk assessment in later steps which is step 6 and 7 which we will cover in next video now who should be the members of hesap team the members which are appointed as as hesap team shall have specific knowledge of hesap product and process of their industry organization should maintain the competency record of the members of food safety team the hesap team shall have a team leader it is also called hesap team leader or food safety team leader food safety team leader is a person who should be responsible for managing and organizing the work of the food safety team ensuring relevant trainings and competencies for the food safety team reporting to top management on the effectiveness and suitability of the food safety management system once you complete this document with the help of top management now this team will be responsible for completing the remaining 11 steps now the second step is to describe the product describing product is very important because this product description will decide the risk of the product and will help food safety team to conduct the appropriate risk assessment food safety team will develop a full description of the product including all relevant information on product safety such as physical chemical and microbial parameters packaging labeling requirements shelf life conditions for storage method of transportation and distribution and legal requirements for the food safety of the product now you can see one filled product description of a rice processing industry third step is to identify the intended use of the product identifying intended use is very important because this intended use will decide the risk of the product and will help food safety team to conduct the appropriate risk assessment food safety team needs to describe the projected use of the product made it should also mention the expected consumer of the product and which consumer product should avoid the product example if product has a high sugar content mention that it is not suitable for diabetic patients let's take an example of a cooking oil what should be the intended use here intended use of cooking oil is product is used as cooking medium to cook various types of dishes and for frying purpose the expected consumer usage is by all section of population unless otherwise contraindication for medical or other reasons you can make a separate document for intended use or just add one more row or section along with product description to define the intended use after these three steps the fourth step is process flow chart or process flow diagram 
process flow diagram is a systematic presentation of the sequence and interaction of steps in the process. It provides the graphical representation of the process flow. Flow diagram is another important document which is used when conducting the hazard analysis and risk assessment which is step 6 and 7. Food safety team will develop a clear, accurate and sufficiently detailed process flow diagram which includes the sequence and interaction of the steps, outsource process, raw materials, ingredients, packaging materials enters the flow, reworking take place, waste released or removed. On-site confirmation of flow diagrams. Fifth step is to verify the accuracy of process flow diagram and why this is important. This is important because the process flow diagram is the base of hazard analysis and risk assessment which have to conduct which we have to conduct from step 6. And if process flow diagram is not actually correct, you will not be able to conduct the proper hazard analysis and risk assessment. And this has been noticed that normally current practices of production, operation or processing doesn't exactly depict what is actually mentioned in process flow diagram. Activities should be aligned with the process flow diagram and for this purpose food safety team has to con confirm the accuracy of process flow diagram. Now the question is how do the food safety team confirm the accuracy of flow diagram? All members of food safety team go on site either in a group or individually along with process flow diagram and verify each step and things mentioned in diagram with actual on-site practices. Record of this on-site verification also needs to be maintained. Record may be maintained in the form of notification or signatures on process flow diagram which depicts that food safety team has verified the process flow. Hope you are now able to make documents for all five initial steps of HACCP. Wait for the next video on seven steps of HACCP which are also known as seven principles of HACCP. Thank you so much for watching this video.